Howdy folks, Tech Texan here, bringing you There Came an Echo. Now the cool thing about this game is that uh, this is a voice uh, activated command game, so basically I'll be giving voice commands, so I won't be giving as much commentary because I don't want to give the wrong command, so we'll see how things go. And actually, you can even start from the menu, so without further ado, here we go. Play. And I'm just going to click here. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Use a headset. Of course, we will definitely do that. <laughs> Don't yell into the microphone. Why not? It's probably what's going to happen. What? <laughs> I know. And I picked this game up on Steam, so like it's only like 15 bucks, and I think at the time of this recording, there's a 10% off sale right long. now, so it's only like 12 bucks, so didn't do anything it's wrong. not even that much. This is no longer but so far, the commands have been pretty well responsive. I haven't played the game yet. That was just in the menu. We'll see how the game goes. I'll take care of we'll see whether or not I get a little frustrated sure or not. That you do. We gods do not play at dice. Alright, we got a full blown intro going here. Although, possibly due to copyright, I might have to edit this out. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my goodness. I like the music. Giant circles. Ronald Jenkins. Good job. intro so yes this is a top-down uh, view and basically you give commands to your squad members to do you know either take cover or move or whatever Ooh, here we go can you hear me you yes. should say yes or affirmative maybe yes Okay, we're online. I'm Val. I'll Hi, take Val. care of primary communications with the field. You just provide the tactical support. That's the easy part. You lucked out. When you issue a command directly to a field unit, you say the name of the soldier and then the command. It's pretty simple. Try saying, Val, stop talking. <laughs> Val, stop talking. Mmm, no. But good job, I guess. Anyway, I should probably tell you now. We have to help this guy. His name is Corin. We need a view of his office. It's to the south. Design's a little tacky. Go ahead and move the camera by moving the mouse to the edge of the screen. You can also zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. He doesn't have a receiver, so we're just gonna have to call him. Hope he picks up. You know, um, we're gonna have to do some on-the-job training. We're out of time. They're here. Let's dial a cell. Hello? Did you know that there are men coming for you? Yeah, you got the wrong number. Huh, I guess he doesn't like advice. Hello? Corin, you should really listen. It's not a wrong number. Well, I don't want to buy anything, so... Corin Webb, 27 years old, employed at Ignite Defense in Santa Monica, California, developer of Radio Lock. 
You're in your office at the moment. There's a half-full coffee cup to your right and a pen holder with three pens in it. One of them is missing a cap. Who is this? Someone watching a screen on which four very unfriendly-looking men are heading up to your office. Jesus, what? What do they want with me? Radio lock. It's an open-source algorithm. You can look it up on Wikipedia. Uh, sorry. I need to use complete sentences. They want you to break radio lock. It can't be broken. The problem with all locks, Corin, is that they were made to be opened. There isn't even any hardware that can run it. I, I, I can go with them. Explain they're why... They're not here to talk, Corin. And when they're done with you, they'll probably kill you. Not for fun, even though it might be fun. Why should I listen to you? How do I know you're not lying to me? You don't, Corin. But you have 50, no, 48, 47, uh, you have seconds before they show up at your door. Ugh, fine! Where do I go? My friend here is going to tell you what to do. Just listen and you'll be fine. Hopefully. I okay, hope. here are the would-be assailants. Right now, you need to get Corn out of his office to a safe location. There's an empty office down the hall, number 623. To issue a movement command, you need to call Corin's name, then the command move to, and then the location in question. Go for it. Corn, move to office 623. Finally. The code to the door is 109324. Well, Morpheus, what now? Stay still, like the statues. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're weird. So timing is important here. We have to stay out of sight. For time-critical situations, you can follow a command with On My Mark. Then as soon as you say Mark, they'll execute the action. When it's clear, get core into the stairs in the northeast corner. Use the On My Mark command along with the move. Corn, On My Mark... Move to the northeast stairs. Now. Speak up, Sam. We can't quite hear you. Go. Corn, move to the northeast stairs on my mark. On my mark? Seriously? I'm a cryptographer, not a marine, you idiot. Go. Mark. Jesus! Oh, you can say pause game if you need to take a break. I'm good. Actually, pause game. Okay, there we go. So I can actually stop and uh, actually talk about this just a little bit. Uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, it, I looked in the options and it said go, but uh, I guess that didn't work. I had to use the word mark in order for him to move, but I might work with that a little bit and see if I can't add that to the option, because you can add multiple voices to an individual command. Uh, so just to let you know, those options are kind of there. So without further ado, resume. Corin, get the hell out of my office. Not now, Darren. Get off the phone! You think your overrated code gives you some special access pass? Darren, I swear to God, not now. Darren, stop! Can I get Marshall or Todd in here? Mr. Webb has repeatedly shown disrespect for both my work environment and my personal affairs, and I think it's time to... What, what a jerk. They're coming. Which way? Go straight. Go right. Speak up, Sam. We can't quite hear you. Go back. Oh my goodness. That was not responsive enough, apparently. They're coming. Which way? Go right. Go left. Gonna need another decision here. Go left. Of course, I just could have clicked on it. 
Go left. God damn it, that son of a bitch. Give me something. Go left. Go right. Oh. Okay, I thought he was talking about the turn back there. Are you kidding me? Which way? Go left. Oh, well, I just led him straight to his untimely death. Okay. They're coming. <laughs> Which way? Go right. Gonna need another decision here. Go left. God damn it, that son of a bitch. Give me something. Go right. Is it took over the camera control, so I couldn't really move it around much to see where those guys were. But eh. that and I didn't even know which hallway they were talking about. Good job. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate when I'm less about to be kidnapped and murdered. If you need corn to suddenly stop moving, like the statues, just say hold position. Hold position. Are you crazy? I'm not stopping now. Well, um. That should work in the future. <laughs> Corin, all you need to do is head down to the third level of the parking garage. From there, we can get you to- No. What? Look, no offense, but I have no idea who you are or why you called me. I'm going to the police. That's a bad idea, really. Just awful. Save it, lady. But thanks for the help. That's a shame. Uh-oh. Idiot. I'm calling him back. God damn it! This sh Shut up and listen. There's a black sedan waiting for you on parking level three. Its rear passenger side door is open. Move! I don't think... I don't think I can. You can follow our orders this time, Corin, or you can get yourself killed. Your call. Ah! Cool. Well, that was just the intro, so that it's going to be a little bit more restrictive. But once we get a little bit more into the game, I think it'll be a lot more open to the controls. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. It's you're, a long intro. You're welcome. I'm shot. I think I need a doctor. You're fine. That wasn't a bullet. That was pulsed energy direction. You were electrocuted pretty badly, but it was a glancing shot. It's actually really cool technology. They accelerate hydrogen ions to- I don't care. I care about where this car is going, who those people were, and who you are. You're gonna tell me all of those I don't know, I kinda things. wanted to know I'm how those guns work. I'm going to dive roll out the door and into the nearest LAPD station at the next red light. Also, who's driving this thing? Now you can see in the top right, I am it's remotely, actually detecting but I my doors. voice, so. It's Pardon my lack of Stockholm Syndrome, but if you think you can keep Corin, me- shut up. Kinda helps you control your volume. Listen to me. Your algorithm is helping to protect a very to dangerous quietly. piece of data. Really dangerous. No, it isn't. I told you before, the hardware needed to run Radio Lock doesn't exist. Yes, it does, Corin. Hmm. If the hardware exists... It does. If, then can't you, I don't know, blow it up or something? Even if we knew where it was, a system like that would have remote servers in place to mirror the data. We need to find the access terminal, and then you need to break Radio Lock. Okay, stop. There is a mathematical proof showing why radio lock is numerically impossible to break. It cannot be done. They aren't going to stop. And why, may I ask, are you so keen on springing to my aid? I can't say. Knowing any more could put you in danger. No need to pile on, I say. Hmm. <laughs> so you'll help? Think you swear? I'm helping myself. And what's your name, by the way? 
I'm Val. Nice to meet you. And your partner? That's Sam. Say hi, Sam. Hi. Hi, Corn. Uh, hi. So what now? We're heading to LAX, then to Seattle. We have a safe house there, and there's someone in the area who might have some information. There's an earpiece in the bag on the passenger seat. It's yours. Happy... birthday. Put it on. What is up with Val? Done. She's and is like all this AI military code crap really necessary? I'm sorry, it's up to Sam. Sam, if you want to change commands, you can do that in the settings interface. <sighs> Things just tend to go wrong at airports. So yes, they have all the voice commands in the options, so you can look them up in case you forget them. Your flight leaves in 40 minutes. Gate 33A to Seattle. All right. That's a fancy scanner. Malcolm Reynolds, status confirmed. Have a nice flight, Mr. Reynolds. Corin Webb, status confirmed. Have a nice flight, Mr. Webb. This is for real, huh? I would think the shooting and the running and the yelling should have indicated- That was rhetorical, Val. Did I get an exit row? Nope. <sighs> and you're in the middle seat. Oh. Damn it. Corn, we've got incoming. Get to the men's bathroom, now! You... wait, what? The bathroom? Everyone out of the terminal! Just go! There should be a duffel bag under the rightmost sink. There's a power pack and a gun in it. You've got to be kidding. How did they find you so quickly? Oh, gee, I don't know the scanner. He's still in there somewhere! Sam, tell him to put his shields up. How the hell do I do that? Corn, put oh, your shields uh, up. There's a little red button on the bottom of the gun. Corn, shields up. Holy crap. All right. Sam, I've marked a note on the map. His glasses will let him know where it is. The shots won't bring down the shield, right? That's cool. Your shield stay up until your energy runs out. A few pot shots won't do much. All right. Corin, move to Alpha 1. Corin, move to Alpha 1. I do have to work on sensitivity. Now what? Hmm, you have a gun, and they're shooting at you. Sam, give him a hint. Corin, open fire. It won't kill them, right? Not unless you're within a few feet. Just shoot! Sam, he's horrible at this. Tell him to switch targets. Corin, fire on target one. Got one! Corin, fire at target Sam, two. Sam, one of the enemy soldiers is flanking Corin, making his cover useless. Issue a retreat command. Corin, retreat. Jesus Christ! Corin, we've got two shielded soldiers incoming. Your shields are stronger, so you should be okay. Should? And I'm running out of room here, Val. Yeah, um, working on that. Corrin, attack target one. Corrin, you can flank the enemy here and increase your accuracy. Move over to Alpha 3. Corrin, move to Alpha 3. Corrin, move Seriously, to Alpha, Alpha 3. 3. Corrin, attack target two. They've got a whole squad coming into the terminal. You need to move, now. But there's only- Now! There's nowhere to go, Val. Why do I even bother giving the commands? He went down the jetway! <laughs> nice! What are you waiting for? Pull the trigger, Corin. What? Corin, you have to. I can't. I can't kill someone. Well, at least wound him! Shoot! I... 
damn it. Corin, get out of there. He didn't look very cool, but he probably still has friends. Oh my goodness. Speak up, Sam. We can't quite hear you. There's too many of them. Corin, retreat. Nowhere I can go, Sam. Corn. Hold your fire. Okay. What are they waiting for? I don't know. Corin Webb. I'm unarmed. I just want to talk. Corin, I know you don't want to kill anybody, but she is a really good person to kill right now. You've been shooting an awful lot for someone who just wants to talk. My men can get a little overzealous, I admit. I will open fire if you get any closer. Based on one of my subordinates' reports, I'm not terribly worried. Corin, this shoot Miranda. Interest, trust me. Corin, don't. What do you want? We need to get out of here now. Excuse me? We've only got a few seconds. I told them I was negotiating. When they realized. Okay, I'm not buying the double agent line. Alistair, front and center, soldier. Put your shields down, Lieutenant. Ma'am? Shields down. You said you were unarmed! I lied. You can come with me or be here when the smoke clears. Your call. Corn, you can't just- This way! Uh -huh. There's no plane! We're jumping onto the tarmac. We're what? That's a 20-foot drop onto concrete! 17 feet. Roll when you hit the ground. God damn it! Really? Let's move! They're right behind us! Corin, I highly advise you to separate yourself from this woman immediately. She's fine by me at the moment, Val! You better run, Junior. I will blow out the back of your skull before I let them get their hands on you, so move! I... I'm trying! On the chopper, move! This happens every time with you. Adam, you ready to go? Good to go, sweetie. Get us in the air, and don't call me that. Interesting. The plot thickens. So why didn't you kill me? Beg your pardon? You said you'd rather blow out the back of my skull than let them capture me. Seems like the easiest solution would be to just do that. The easiest, yeah. And the least lucrative. I only get half if you're dead. What, you're a mercenary? I hate that word. I'm a professional soldier. My task was to join ranks with Farrick, locate you, and then protect you at any cost. Well, <laughs> not any cost, just the amount I got paid. Farrick? Heather Farrick, the one who's trying to kidnap you? Your fairies must not be very well informed. I think they are, but they don't seem much for sharing. <laughs> Figures. So you're a code breaker, right? Code maker, actually. But I don't know how you or they found out about Radio Lock. I published it anonymously. Why anonymously? Wouldn't the recognition be good for your career? Someone, uh convinced me otherwise. And besides, it's a quantum algorithm which requires quantum computing. We were supposed to be decades off from that tech. My fairies say otherwise. Uh, I don't know much about Farrick, but she isn't crazy. If she wants you that badly, it's real. So, if you were paid to protect me... I don't know who he is. He did the whole Charlie's Angels thing. I just know he's rich as God. Well, you know, if God existed. There's nothing besides protect me. Until when? Just protect me. When I see that many zeros in my bank account, Junior, I shut my mouth and do as I'm told. Speaking of which, debrief me on the attacks at Ignite Defense. Debrief? Oh, just say... Ugh, I'll do it. Give her the glasses, please. But wipe them off first, that's gross. She is bizarre. And no. No? 
I'm not letting you run around aimlessly trying to hack into some terminal. You were hopeless back at LAX. You're gonna get yourself killed. We're going into hiding. Farrakh has access to uncountable resources, and I can count very high. If we stand still, she'll find us. Probably. Then we stay on the run. We're two people. Uh, three. We don't have the manpower or intel to do any damage. I don't know why you're trying to help him, Val, but you're doing a thoroughly awful job so far. We can avoid their forces for a little while, mercenary, but they're not going to stop. Ever. Heather is... persistent. Yeah, she is. You have a weapons cache? We're heading there now. She gave me the coordinates earlier. By the way, I'm Adam. Nice to- Fine. When we get there, though, Junior here is gonna go through some basic training. I'm not getting killed because he thinks basic field commands aren't trending on Twitter. Hmm. We'll be landing in 70 minutes. Not that anyone's listening. Adam. Shut up. Well, I gotta say this intro's kind of long. Kind of need to get on with the gameplay here. Not to say that the story and the uh, artwork isn't bad, though. Ah, here we go. Whoa. Val, how are you paying for all this? Uh, I don't remember. We should be safe here, though. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm a bit skeptical. I promise. This area back here will be fine for what we need. Time to work. I do not like her, but go ahead, Corn. You should know the basics. Okay, Sam, you're gonna have to work with me on this one. This civilian has no idea what he's doing, and that's gonna change. Take off the full metal jacket, lady. I'm not an idiot. You didn't kill one of my soldiers when you had the chance, so yes, you're an idiot. Don't be mean. Whatever, pay attention. You need to memorize the first few letters of the phonetic alphabet. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot. B, C, D, E all sound too similar on the battlefield. Sam, if you forget those, you can pull up a reference card if you need it. All right, Sam, get us both over to that node. Corin, Miranda, move to Alpha One. You'll still get hit while in cover, Corin, but much less often than normal. Cover is really important. You should stay in it when you can. You can also call out any number of soldiers' names or use everyone but to order a specific group. All right, weapon types. I don't know where the hell Val and Sam got these, but I've seen a few prototypes. These PDEs can change function. Yep, there are four different weapons you can take into battle. Each has a pistol base, but a cool alternate as well. The other weapons are useful, but they each cost a small amount of your total energy per shot. Be judicious. I like that word. Judicious. Sam, tell Miranda to switch to her charge gun. She can show Corin. Miranda, switch to charge gun. This is the charge gun. You can think of it a bit like a grenade launcher. It launches area of effect plasma at the enemy. You got the charge gun as well, so go ahead and switch. Corin, switch okay. to charge gun. Sam, give Corin a specific target to hit for maximum effect. Try and get Corin to hit all three targets at once. Corn, attack target two. Adequate, I guess. Hopefully you'll get more accurate with time. All right, let's put you in a combat situation. All right. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more practice, but okay. Probably All right, get these people what killed. happens if one of us goes down in combat? If it's you, Champagne. Champagne won't wake someone up, Adam. Adorable. It's not pleasant, but one of these battery packs has enough energy to jolt someone awake. Corin, lay down. Oh, come on. Shut up and do it. <sighs> Miranda, revive Corin. Son of a... <laughs> that was fun. And finally, you can switch out your battery pack with a fresh one. Shoot Corin? Come on! Sam, tell Corin to recharge. Corin, recharge. Okay, I cool, I think that's everything. Let's take a little test. Hmm. Sam, so we're taking your lead. Here. Take your time and survey the battlefield before starting. Remember to try Ooh. switching to your charge gun and flanking the enemy. Show him who's boss. It's... It's you, by the way. You're the boss. 
Miranda, move to Alpha 2. Copy that. So the way you want to do this is cover fire tactics. So you get Miranda, attack target 1. Corin, move to Alpha 2. Corin, move to Alpha 2. Wait. Begin wave. Corn, attack target four. Yes, sir. Corn, move to Alpha Six. Got it. Corn, move to Alpha Eight. Got it. Miranda, use charge gun. Copy that. Miranda, attack target three. Got a concern. Corn, move to Alpha Six. Corn, attack target one. Corn, revive Miranda. Corn, move to Alpha 4. Miranda, move to Alpha 3. Hostile territory, sir. Ah. You're trying to get us killed? Corn, attack target 4. Already Miranda, on, move man. to Alpha 4. Copy that. Miranda, take cover. I am mildly impressed. Well, at least I'll have someone to draw fire. You were lovely. Thanks, Val. There we go. Okay, finally, a little bit of action. I did horrible, though. I probably should have done that a little bit different. But with practice, uh, no problem. What are you doing? Working on radio lock. Did you crack it yet? You know you're probably going to die if you can't crack it, right? What is wrong with you? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not good with people. Yeah, I could tell. No, I haven't cracked it, and I can't explore any hardware solutions because I don't have the hardware. This is impossible. So was Shannon's Law, remember? They got around that. Val, I just want to go home. I'm sorry, Corin. Not yet. Just leave me alone for a while. Corin, Miranda, I have some information. Must be an unfamiliar feeling. Miranda, shut up. Ooh, some backbone. It must be rubbing off. Ferrick sort of vanished a while back, but she was mentioned in a local police report four months ago. The report was classified. I'm still trying to get a name on the residence. Her name is Grace Williams. She's 19 years old. What? I didn't know she was in Seattle. A few of the men were talking about her. That girl was trying to track Ferrick down. She might know something. Why didn't they just kill her? I don't know, but they haven't. I've got a latitude and longitude. Oh, and an address, but that's not as cool. Let's go say hi. Should I come? No. And Corin, you hang back too. I'm telling you, I think Val if is there's the AI. any encryption on her machines, you won't know what to do with it. It'll be fine. Just stay close. I kind of wish I could move around my own waypoints, like the alphas. Hey Sam, this is where you can switch weapons and accessories for each squad member. Oh, nice. It's pretty simple. Just drag the weapon or accessory you want into an open slot. Oh, but the it pistol's costs... locked in, though. Okay. They need that. For now, we're just going to stick with the charge gun. We'll get to the other weapons a bit later. I don't. Ha I have no points, so it doesn't matter. Okay, what about these?
Oh no, I can put these in there. Okay. I don't know what a railgun does. Well, it doesn't matter because I can't really switch it out. Alright, well. Move out. Move out. Thank you. I think I'll just play this level and end the recording there, but you'll get an idea. But, I mean, you already have an idea how this game's played. Shields up. We aren't expecting any... Shields up. She's 19. What's she gonna do? She's a suspect in a murder case. A stupid question. What? We're not alone. Sam, check the map. Got him. They're laying an ambush. Sam, let's get on their flank. You've got the command. Corrin, move to Alpha 1. Miranda, move to Alpha 2. Too much. Miranda, move to Alpha 2. Acknowledged. Miranda, move to Alpha 3. Miranda, take cover. Corrin, move to Alpha 1. Corn, move to Alpha 3. Yes, sir. Miranda, attack target 3. Already on him, Sam. Miranda, attack target 3. Eyes open, Sam. I'm already on it. Corn, move to Alpha 4. You got it, Sam. I think we've got a second. Sam, have them recharge if you think they need to. When they're ready, move them forward toward the house. Everyone, move to Alpha 5. Try to stay on the left side here. And there we can maneuver. Um, Speak up, Sam. We can't quite hear you. Hmm. Everyone, move to Bravo 4. Copy that. Corn, move to Sam, Bravo three more 5. Enemy units coming from inside. Corn, attack target one. Miranda, on switch him, to charge gun. Copy that. Miranda, switch to pistol. We need to head inside. How do we know Grace is still there? By going inside and checking. Miranda. They're probably watching the front. Never Sam, mind. Sam, you want both of us to head to the back, or should we split up? Back door. Miranda, recharge. Breach. Nice shot. Corrin, take cover. You got it, Sam. A little help? I'm taking this. Corrin, stay back. I wanted to do it. God damn it. One of them's got a charge gun. I noticed! Our corner on the sweet tech market is gone. So Miranda, move to Echo 2. Corn, recharge. Got it. Miranda, switch to charge gun. Attack target 3. Corn, attack target bubbles. 3. Everyone, attack target 3. I'm under 20%. Miranda, recharge. 
Last one. Miranda, switch to pistol. Corrin, take cover. Just two of you? Well, good job, I guess. Shut up. <laughs> Everyone who carries a gun seems to be a jackass. Miranda! <sighs> now, was that so hard? Yeah. They attacked you, Corrin. Don't forget that. We can do a motion time later, kids. We've got incoming soldiers. Estimated demeanor, kinda mad. Grace, grab one of the soldiers' pistols. Sweet. The one with the red bars has much higher health. You should take out green or yellow soldiers first. Probably. Everyone, attack target four. Miranda, attack target one. Miranda, attack target one. Mur My energy's low, Sam. Corin, recharge. I'm out, Sam. No problem. Why were those soldiers here? Hell if I know. Why are they were watching around? me. They have been for a while. Says you. They don't like you. Which means I do. Mind if I tag along? Yes. You're looking for a terminal, right? I know where it is. Still, yes. You can tell us or I can shoot you. You won't. I will. Pull the trigger then. Save yourself some trouble. Jesus! <laughs> I'll tell you where it is. I just need something in return. Well, aren't you the tough one? How do we know you have the location at all? There must have been a reason Heather's troops were watching. And Grace isn't that cute. And we don't have any other leads. Fine. We could use our information on Farrick regardless. What do you need? A little trip into enemy territory. I want someone killed. One of Farrick's men. You're an interesting teenager. That's all I want. And I promise, when I see his eyes go dark, I'll tell you everything you want to know. Just another day at the office. Get dressed, you're coming with us. You make any sudden movements or put us in danger in any way, and you're dead. Yes, ma'am. Such nice people. Okay, so that is the game so far. Uh, yeah, uh, take a look at this game. If you're into voice command stuff, you know, make sure you wear headphones and, you, you know, you have on. a decent microphone Can you hear and me, Grace? Uh, all that one, good stuff. But ratio, two, uh, e, I'm going to play with this a little yeah. bit more, see how much more active it gets and see if the after a man strategy gets Lewis. too bad. But He's one of game. the problem He's is, is I wish I can adjust my own city. waypoints instead There's of using the ones they... So we'll first need to get have static to on to the map, so Even without the alarm, that's kind of the, the only thing I have uh, so be a beef with. If Hang you're on spotted, a Game, pause. And while we're at it, let me pause make game. something clear great. There we go. So that's the only downside I see to this game are the static waypoints. I wish that I can move that around, but I can't. Um, that would give me a little bit more control over it. Uh, you know, and this isn't the first game that had voice commands, you know. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed the Mass Effect game when uh, they used the microphone on the Xbox or the Kinect, but that was not as responsive as this one is. This one's actually been pretty responsive for the most part. I mean, you saw a couple of times there, it didn't quite pick up, but then again, the characters are a little too chatty for a game in which I'm supposed to be giving voice commands, so that was kind of annoying, but um, I think that will reduce as we go further into the game because again this is the intro they're having to explain everything so after everything's kind of explained everything else will just be uh go after this objective and then from there i give all those commands uh there'll probably be a few more tutorials on the different uh weapons that we 
uh, use like the rail gun and the screw gun or whatever it is. And um, we'll see how all that goes. So uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here for this game. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be doing more in the future, but the, this is just another, you know, game on Steam that you might want to check out. Like I said, it's only like 15 bucks right now. As of this recording, there's a 10% off, so it's like only 12 bucks. So uh, take a look at it um, and see if you enjoy it. So with that said, y'all come back now, you hear? Bye.